Iron Fist. So much so that he was known as the Iron Man. Iron Sword! That he was also known as the Iron Lady. Iron Sword! Oh yes, the Iron Sword of Locker. Born here in 1800. In this very town and became Prime Minister at least seven times during his life. Find out why the Iron Man... Iron Sword! The Iron Sword came to represent everything stagnant and reactionary in this episode of Feudal Spain. Maria Nare, seven times Prime Minister of Spain, the Iron Sword of Loja, lived here in this mansion now, the town hall building of the city of Loja. Who, I hear you ask? Ramon was to become the 19th most influential figure in the history of Spain. As a keen authoritarian figure, the Iron Sword became the predecessor to the Iron Lady. Baroness meet the Duke. Duke, the Baroness. Ramon will be remembered for many things, knee-high leather boots, uncompromising politics and the Guardia Civil. Spain's military highway patrolling, green-clad security force. It was during his leadership, perhaps not surprisingly, that the Guardia Civil was created. He also increased military spending for umpteen wars and inspired certain British prime ministers to follow suit a century later. But it was not his boots that got him included in this series of videos, oh no. It was his politics. A harsh and uncompromising man whose repressive politics meant opposition could never exist unless it was confined to a secret society. And that's just what happened. One such secret society in the very city of the Prime Minister himself chose to revolt. Circles once more. It appears you push too hard in one direction and you'll get the opposite result. Authoritarianism equals revolution. So join me, the Gaspacho Monk, for episode six, when we look at revolutionary Spain and ask why a local vet said enough was enough and turned the prime minister's very own hometown into the very first Spanish Republic. Yo, say cheese, Mr. Cheese Man. Say cheese.